This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. I hope you will be fine. In this channel, I prepared detailed lectures for chemical engineers and also for associate engineers. In this channel, you will find playlists of different engineering subjects which will help you in your study, in your interviews and also during your professional industrial life. So subscribe my channel for more videos. Hope you will be fine. This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. In this video, we will discuss production process of polystyrene. Before production process, I will present a short introduction of polystyrene to know its worldwide production capacity. In 1996, polystyrene production capacity was 19.2 million metric tons per year. So, a dough chemical industry is the world's largest producer of polystyrene and uh, its production capacity is 1.8 million metric tons. So, its uh, industrial units are located in USA, Canada and Europe. So, at industrial level, there are two processes for the production of polystyrene. The first process is dehydrogenation of ethyl benzene to produce styrene and the second one is a free radical polymerization of styrene to produce polystyrene. Here you can see the production process flow sheet of polystyrene and here four reactors are provided in which a reaction take place at different conditions and after a reaction we got a mixture and after separation of that mixture we got polystyrene for the production of polystyrene we use styrene as a raw material so uh, first of all uh, we will produce styrene with the help of ethyl benzene and that ethyl benzene will go under a catalytic dehydrogenation process in which we will get styrene. Here in this reaction you can see the first reactant is ethyl benzene and after catalytic reaction we get styrene and that styrene will further use to produce polystyrene and in this uh, flow sheet you can see uh, styrene monomer is used as a reactant in this process and finally we will get polystyrene product the production of styrene from ethyl benzene is a endothermic reaction so the heat of reaction is negative one to one uh, kilojoule per mole so negative sign shows it's an endothermic reaction which need heat to proceed so 65% uh, of styrene is used to produce polystyrene I told you already that uh, styrene is a main raw material to produce polystyrene in the process flow sheet you can see four reactors in which reaction take place so the overall reaction which take place in these reactor is a conversion of styrene into polystyrene so we can say uh, it's a polymerization of styrene the four reactors reaction required inert organic solvent environment so that solvent will be used as a reaction medium so different types of mediums are used for this cationic polymerization reaction the most common solvent which is used is 1,2-dichloroethane and also other solvents are used in which carbon tetrachloride ethyl chloride methylene dichloride benzene toluene ethyl benzene and chlorobenzenes are included so uh, another initiator is also used and uh, in that initiator mixture boron trifluoride and water are included so uh, this initiator solution prepared by 1.5 by weight percent of uh, boron trifluoride gas into organic solvent containing 280 ppm water so that mixture is called initiator 
here in this diagram you can see the initiator so it is also used in this reaction other than styrene monomer so these two are reactants of this process so this solution is prepared continuously in a holding vessel and also injected into the reactor system in the first reactor we feed the mixture of three following raw materials the first one is 50 weight percent styrene monomer the second one is 100 ppm water and the third one is 2000 ppm boron trifluoride so after this reaction we got heat and to remove this heat we use a cooling jacket in which a cooling media uh, flow from one side to other side to absorb the heat of the reaction so the temperature of the reactor uh, take in between uh, 15 centigrade uh, throughout the series of reactor here we are using four reactors so uh, here uh, we uh, will maintain the temperature of 15 centigrade in this reaction temperature control is a very important factor because as the reaction temperature increases the molecular weight of the polystyrene decreases so the temperature range is controlled in between 40 to 70 centigrade and that control is obtained with the help of shell and tube heat exchanger as you have seen already in process flow diagram that four reactors are used for reaction so these reactors are made up of stainless steel so uh, you know uh, initiator is the second raw material in this process and initiators are some liquid mixtures so how these introduce in these reactors so here you can see the close-up view of the initiator injection system uh, so uh, you can take an idea how these initiators are feeded uh, with the help of an agitation system. This is Engineer Faisal Ijaz. hope you will be fine. In this channel I prepared detailed lectures for chemical engineers and also for associate engineers. In this channel you will found playlists of different engineering subjects which will help you in your study, in your interviews and also during your professional industrial life. So subscribe my channel for more videos.